everyone, it's AJ, and today we have a brand new chapter of Bingo Stray Dogs. That's right, after last month's pain, we have a brand new chapter of other pain, because why the fuck not? <laughs> so we have chapter 110, 110, 110, whatever you want to say it. And it's a shorty, we only have 13 uh, pages. So given the pain that was last month, this is like, hey, let's just have a teeny little amount. Let's just like, after the big one from last month, let's just only give you a teeny little amount. Thanks, Asagiri. <laughs> oh. Anyway, so just to kind of kick things off, just the fact that uh, Book of Stray Dogs was actually on the cover of Young Ace, because that's the magazine that it's published in. So I just love the fact that it's like, hey, here's like Ashi and Dazai. And spoiler alert, Dazai's not even in the fucking chapter. <laughs> and given, like, given the fact that what happened to him in the last chapter, it's like, oh, look, here's this lovely, pretty picture of. <laughs> It's like, are you, are you actually serious about this right now? <laughs> like, here are two characters that aren't in a good place right now, but yeah, let's just put them on the cover being all nice and cool. <laughs> Only in this fandom, honestly. <laughs> oh, but anyway, so let's actually go into the chapter, the actual chapter. And we get a few color pages, which is also very cool. So the first colour page is like the actual start of the chapter where we have Bram and Aya. So this is basically a Bram and Aya special. But oh god, it still hurts though. But yeah, so Bram and Aya special where we have the sword finally trying to get tugged out of Bram. And Bram is in a, obviously in a, a lot of pain. Obviously. <laughs> and that's the kind of first colour page to kind of kick off the, what it's going to be in the chapter. However, after that, we get like a lovely like double page spread of the Decay of Angels and oh, did Harakawa like actual just like cook? Like, oh, it's beautiful. It's like a little like Decay of Angels piece, right? So everyone looks really good. Let's just ignore fucking Fukuji because obviously we hate him here. So I'm not going to talk about him, <laughs> but he has that. He is there unfortunately and i just wish the fucking mask that he's wearing on his head was covering his fucking face so i didn't need to see him <laughs> but everyone looks so nice like sorry nikolai with healed boots oh love to see it also the fact that nikolai is clearly like helped dressed everyone because bram has a fucking braid in his hair like Oh, it's so cute! Like, I love it! And Sigma just looks beautiful. And the fact that, like, Fyodor and Nikolai are sitting, well, standing next to each other and whatnot, just looking so fine, it's like, oh. Mwah. See, this is, like, the nice little gift that they give, like, Harakawa's gave us, just to be like, hey, you're gonna be in a lot of pain in this chapter, especially what happened last chapter as well. It's like, here's a little nice thing to look at before we go into this chapter of pain. Yay! So, let's go into that, shall we? Because that's actually the main focus of this, not the fact that uh, everyone just looks really nice in the Decay of Angels in this piece. <laughs> So, we are joining Aya and Bram up in the top, and the table has stopped in the air. Like, it is now just dangling off the edge, and, well, the sword is still very much stuck in Bram. And a lot of things I saw on Twitter was be like, okay, Bram is so light that Aya can, like, carry him on his back, right? Yet, a table that is fucking massive can he drag a sword out of him or make him go flying. Then I remember the fact that Bram is actually like on a plinth. So I'm assuming that Aya has somehow managed to fucking wedge this plinth into the building. Hence why like he should technically be stationary as the sword is meant to get ripped out of him. In theory. But it's so heartbreaking in the fact that this heavy ass table still couldn't rip out this fucking sword that is in his head. But... The sword is ingrained into his head. Like, it is, like, it's not just, like, a normal ass sword where it's just a simple pierce. Like, it's kind of, like, rooted into his brain. So this stupid, like, special ability sword has just been fucking stubborn as fuck. <laughs> 
and that a table is not heavy enough for it. Rude. <laughs> and it's so heartbreaking because Aya doesn't understand why it's not worked and she's starting to get upset. And Bram being the fucking best that he is, because their, like, friendship is just the fucking best, like, tries to, like, console her and everything, and it's like, oh, my heart! He's like, you need not need to torture yourself. It was like, oh, <laughs> Bram! Like, from there, we cut to... The fucking missiles that are like coming out, right? And the fact that there's this one missile that's almost close to impact. And it's just like, oh yeah, so we cut to that like danger that's going on. So let's cut to the another thing that's going on in this area, like at the airport. And if, if Ashishi is still in fucking Atagawa's arms, right? Still semi like passed out or whatever the fuck it is, right? And honestly, see this moment is like, why did it have to be like this? <laughs> Like, so actually semi like conscious like in his arms and whatnot, and then Atagawa starts to go on to bite his fucking neck. <laughs> like I'm sorry, but this is not the straightest thing in the world. <laughs> like really, like Atagawa has like clearly like he we have seen him bite other people, and he's went for like the shoulder and stuff like that. Oh no 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 no! We've actually seen it has to be right in the neck at the fucking Adam's apple. Like, sir, that is not straight in the slightest. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> also, like he's more violent when he bites other people, and yet like this looks like the most softest fucking bite. It's like a like caressful bite. Like, sir. <laughs> It's, oh, I just kind of handle this. This is like this is just like the silliest moment within this fucking like chapter, and it's I can't even take it seriously. <laughs> but I don't know if it's also to kind of be like this might be just slightly ahead of time of what's been going on because if for any reason that Aya actually does sort out what's going on right now, like as Atagawa is going in for the bait, will like. The vampirism like get like nullified or whatnot, so then he'll go back to normal, which would then lead to a fucking hilarious interaction of being like, "Why the fuck am I biting your neck, weird tiger?" <laughs> I'm trying to make a happy moment because see what's going on afterwards. See what once we cut back to Aya and Bram, it's just sadness, and I fucking hate it. So let me just enjoy this wee moment of like actually and Atagawa just being like so fucking like what. Yeah, them. <laughs> I want to have some happiness before I talk about the sadness. Is that fair? <laughs> oh. So just as we have this lovely soft panel of Atagawa's fangs just going into Ashley's neck, you know, the straightest thing ever. Uh, <laughs> we're cutting back to Aya and we, we see the table just like hanging off the edge and Aya being so confused because she's like, like, people are going to die. Like, why didn't this work? And Bram just be like, like, you didn't lack, like, bravery or anything like that. And it's just like, all you lacked was weight. And simply, we don't have the time to, like, add it on. Like, even though the table, because I was like, but the table was, like, 20 kilograms. Like, what, what? How is that not enough? <laughs> and like, Bram's just like, you just didn't have enough weight, and now we just don't have time because this missile is now coming to like fuck up the world and whatnot. And you just don't have the time or the strength because you're now knackered, does it? <laughs> and I are just like slowly getting up to turn round and look at Bram with a smile. This hurts! Like, Aya, stop it! No! See, as soon as she stood up and she turned around and she was smiling, I was like, this is, no, 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 this is not good. I did not like this at all. It's just like, nope, nope, nope. Especially when she's like, it's fine. I'm like, no, it's not. It's not okay, hen. It's not. No, 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 no. Wait, not when you're looking like that. That's not good. It's not good. <laughs> and then she goes in her little speech and like how she's worked out how to save everyone, right? And Bram 
rightfully is like confused be like wait what and then she goes on about how like oh like nothing can stop like warriors of justice and whatnot like we always defeat the bad guys and it's like wait no what what why why are you talking like that Zaya? like why <laughs> and then she just turns to start like she just comes out with but we do have something heavier than that table Honestly, no. See that panel of Bram fucking working out what she means? I fucking hate it. Like, it was literally like me just like sitting there being like, why why are you talking like this? And then it's the click of, holy fuck, no, no, absolutely not, Aya. No, no, don't, stop. No, I don't like this. No. <laughs> oh, I swear to fuck, why? And then she just like goes, oh, Bram Jan, like, see you later. No, no, and then jumps off the fucking building. Like, Aya, what the actual fuck are you doing? What in the beast does I is this? Like, no, like, the fact that the part, oh God, see the parallels of, Fucking beast does I I fucking Aya with a fucking smile as they jump off backwards off a building. Like, why Asagi? Why? <laughs> like also that's like the end of the fucking chapter, because obviously that's the end of the fucking chapter. But I hate that so much. Like, I also hate the fact that she probably jumped off backwards so that like the last thing she saw was Bram, instead of obviously seeing the fall of what she's just about to do. Like Asagiri, you're not really helping, like, how much people accuse you of hating fucking kids. Like, yeah, maybe you're changing your, your trajectory of, like, you, see, he didn't blow, blow up the kids. He just made them fucking jump off a building. <laughs> like, Asagiri, you really hate fucking kids. But, like, my God, why are you doing this to Aya of all fucking kids? Like, no. And also, their birthday's just been, like, that's, that's, just shite and then apparently like people on twitter found out that the real life author died like on halloween so when's the next chapter come out for fucking october i swear to fuck if aya fucking dies in the next chapter you're not gonna be in the best books asagiri <laughs> also i swear to fuck if she just no, she better fucking awaken her ability i don't know what the fuck the ability could be but like can you can this be the moment her ability awakens, please? I swear to fuck, she cannot die. That would just be absolutely fucking shit. Can we have one kid survive? Like, come on! <laughs> As you can tell, I'm a little bit upset with this chapter. <laughs> Honestly, like, why would you do this to us? Like, stop! I hate this here. <laughs> it doesn't also help, right? This is like semi sidetracking, but whatnot. But the artwork, like the chapter artwork for volume 24 came out, right? Because the volume came out, I think, like when the chapter dropped, right? It's fucking Bram and Aya. <laughs> like, what? There's like some people started speculating that like this might imply that Aya might inherit something similar of Bram's ability. But, like, I, no. Also, Bram's really tall. Sorry, but see when Bram had a full body? He was tall? <laughs> like, hello. <laughs> but, um, oh, I swear, like, I hate this. I don't know what I hate more. I don't know if I hate the fact that I was a pot like potentially going to fucking die, or the fact that does I got shot in the fucking head by Churia in the last chapter. That still hurts like a bitch. Don't get me wrong, but like, why does Aya need to get this fucking treatment? Like, after all she's done, like she deserves better. <laughs> I hate her. I really do. I really do. Oh. But yeah, so there we go. That's the chapter. It's a wee teeny one, but it fucking hurts. Like, God, I hate it. Also, sorry, I'm just going to keep ranting because I'm just 
so fucking passionate about it. Like, see if Arya fucking dies. Like, Bram, you know for a fucking fact that Bram is going to make sure with all of his fucking ability that he's going to kill fucking Fukuji over this. Because we've not had it resolved or anything like that, but that little mini little flashback of, like, Aya clearly reminds him of somebody. We don't know if it's, like, um, his daughter or whatever, right? We haven't got that resolved. So, if Aya does fucking die, Bram is going to go fucking ape shit onto fucking Fukuji. Like, I would not put it past him because he clearly cares for Aya because he, like, she clearly reminds him of somebody, that, like, from his past. Uh, that it was, queer, like, clearly dear to him and whatnot. So, like, if... If that happens, that is the only thing I will accept that Bram is the one that fucking, like, tears Fukuji a fucking new one. Like, no. Like, this should not be happening! <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, dear. Now we have to wait another month. <laughs> We'll probably get this resolved next chapter. I feel like the, like, the next chapter is probably going to resolve the whole Aya thing. Because obviously, like, we're not going to go back to Versailles anytime soon. It's going to be another, like, fucking chapter 101 situation. It's like, here's a big cliffhanger. We'll come back in, like, half a year's time. Yay! Fuck this. <laughs> Oh, but anyway, let me know your wee thoughts down below. What did you think of the chapter? How are you feeling? <laughs> what do you think Aya's ability could be, like, if it was awoken right now? Like, I don't know, like, the offers works or anything like that. That's something I need to, like, kind of look into to see if there's anything that could maybe spring to mind of something that might be semi-relevant. But... Yeah, if you have a little thoughts, that would be cool. We would love to hear it. And, well, we will be back next month, obviously, with the next chapter. Obviously, we're going to get more pain from the anime this week. And just as I was about to record this, I've already seen that we seem to be going up to fucking chapter 105. Like, we... we, we I think we're going to get chapter 109 now, and I fucking hate that. I fucking hate it. But anyway... Here we go. So yeah, we'll have that, and then obviously we'll have like the ne the next chapter review will be the fifteenth one at the end of the month. But yeah, but you can catch all my bingo related content in my big ass playlist that I have. And well, if you like this, like, comment, and subscribe, I would like that. That's heavily appreciated. Thank you. And we'll be back next time. So. Until next time, I'm AJ, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.